from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your second trimester cardio workout. So in this workout, we're gonna be aimed to get our heart rate up for cardio while we're working and strengthening all of our muscles. So this workout is geared towards the second trimester, and I am currently 20 weeks along in my second trimester, but it's perfectly safe to do this in your first or third trimester as well. Just make sure that you have been cleared by a doctor for workouts during pregnancy before you do this or any other workout, and make sure that you're monitoring your intensity level. So we like to use what we call the talk test. So making sure that you can hold a conversation, that you're not so out of breath that you can't talk, Usually on a scale of one to 10, that's somewhere around a six or a seven. Listen to your body, get water when you need it, take breaks if you need to. This is just to get moving and feeling good. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start just getting a quick little warm up. We're just gonna march nice and light. Just do some gentle shoulder rolls to the back. And then let's take them to the front. Couple big deep breaths in. Out. One more. And let's roll through our back. So just go down as comfortable as for you. Flat back. Round it up. If you can get those knees out wide, open up the hips a bit. And again, if you can't go down as far, if that baby bump's getting in the way, that's okay. We'll go one more. All the way up. And we're just going to tap it to the side, turning the knees and hips. So really important in pregnancy that every time we rotate, we rotate our entire body. We don't want to be twisting through our torsos anymore. We want to rotate all the way through. So if you think of your hip bones as headlights and they have to go the same way. I heard that in a class once and it really helped me get that knees and hips turning towards wherever you're going, not just in the torso. Let's take it over your head. So second trimester, if you're in it, Usually, this is sometimes what people call the good one. You're not quite so big like you are in your third trimester that you're so uncomfortable, but usually you're over that morning sickness and fatigue that's really bad in the first trimester for some of us. Some of us, let's bring the knees up nice and light, not super high, and just getting the arms moving. For some of us, if you're like me, you might still be having the nausea and the morning sickness. With my first pregnancy with my son, I had it the whole time, and seems like I'm on track for that with this baby, but that's okay. I do know the one thing that does help me feel a little bit better is getting moving, even though it's hard to do. Let's bring the hamstrings up to the back. Just remember, even if you can just get a little walk or a little light cardio like these videos, sometimes that does help, getting the blood flowing. So just taking your mind off of it, um, it helps me a lot. Thankfully, I have to teach classes and train clients and make videos. That helps get me moving even on those days I don't feel like it. So let's just step touch side to side. A little bit more about working out in your second trimester. You can still be doing a lot of things that you were doing maybe pre-pregnancy or in your first trimester. The biggest things, again, that we wanna monitor are our heart rate and intensity level. We used to give you a number, 130, 140, but what we found in the fitness industry is that's very different for different people. So now we just say, think of the talk test. If you can have a conversation like I'm doing right now, my heart rate's a little elevated, but I can still talk comfortably. That's where you wanna be. So for a lot of us, again, on a scale of one to 10, that's usually around a six, maybe a seven. Above all, listen to your body. If something feels like too much, don't do it. Take a break. You can always hit pause. You can always just take it to a little march or a walk. Do what is best for you. Again, our goal in pregnancy, not to get super fit, super strong, just to stay active, healthy baby, healthy mama. We'll do all the other work in our postnatal videos, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do here, we are going to have eight moves that we are gonna go through twice. We'll get a minute rest in between after the first eight where you can tap it out like this or grab a sip of water and then each move will do for 45 seconds, 15 seconds of rest. On the 15 seconds of rest, I'd love for you to be moving, tapping it out, marching it out. But again, if you need to just stop, that's totally fine too. So our very first move, we're gonna do a basic squat, nice and deep, with a rotation. So again, like I just talked about, make sure you pivot on the knees and the hips, turn in the toes, 
drop it down, pivot on the knees and the hips. We're gonna do a little reach, if that feels like too much, then just keep your hands on your hips or your hands low. So starting, we're going 45 seconds, squat and rotation. Try to keep the weight in the heels, get low if you can. Squats are so good for pregnancy training. Here we go. We are dropping it down, rotating it up, down, rotating up. So your speed is really up to you. If you've been doing this for a long time, you're feeling good. It's totally fine to take it a little quicker. If you need to take it nice and slow, that's fine too. I want you to have good form. And what that means, dropping low, drive those hips to the back. We're not squatting here forward. We're getting low into the back, weight in the heels. And then again, pivot on the knees and the hips, down, pivot, down, pivot. We've got about 10 seconds. Breathe, rotate, three, two, one, tap it out. So that rotation, full body rotation, squat and rotation, really good for core work in pregnancy too because we're not doing our planks or our crunches or any of that traditional stuff. So our next move, we're just gonna go forward for two, back for two. If you think about it, switch your lead legs, arms can just be moving to the side. So you can just walk it like I'm doing. If you're feeling good, you've been, again, you've been doing cardio for a while, you can go forward and back. Little jog. Don't think too much about the switch. If you keep it all right, left, right, left, that's okay too, or left, right, left, right. So if you are okay, you feel good bouncing, and it's not gonna get your heart rate too high, you can do a little jump, just forward and back. One, two, one, two, or just a walk. And again, doesn't matter your speed, just stay safe, keep moving, and relax, tap it out. So our next move, think of that star jack where we go all the way up, but we're gonna do a halfway. So one arm, one leg, moving laterally, out and out. So reach and reach, flex that foot so we get a little bit of hip action, really good to strengthen our hips and our glutes, reach, Reach, you decide. If you wanna keep it grounded, tap it low. This is totally a great place to be. If you want a little more, we're gonna reach a little more, not arching our back, staying nice and pulled in here. But arms and shoulders, legs and hips, and mostly, again, just getting moving. So all these cardio workouts are designed just to get your heart pumping, getting the blood flowing, but that we're working Different parts of the body, different angles. Five seconds. Breathe. Three, two, tap it out side to side. Whoo, and breathe. So we got about 10 seconds. And then we're gonna go to our next move. So this is a plie double step. So our toes are out. We're gonna step to the side. Step to the side, take it back. Step to the side. Step to the side. Join me when you're ready. Toes are staying out. So it's that plie squat, drop in the hips, pull up in that pelvic floor. You know, we talk about those Kegels. Again, going slow, you're gonna feel a little more of a leg burn. If this bothers your knees, just don't turn out so much. You can still open up the hips a bit and step to the side. Also, if it just feels like too much, just keep it regular plie without the travel side to side, breathe. We got five seconds, two to the side, two to the side, and relax. We are halfway there, four moves in, four moves to go, a little break, then we do them all again. So our next move, we're gonna go out, out, in, in. So similar to the forward and back, you can do out, out, in, in, a little bit of a jog, wide and narrow. And if you think about it, switch that lead leg, getting your body moving, breathe. Up to you if you wanna take it up in speed or just keep it grounded, just with a march. If you get those arms moving and the legs moving, that is success. We don't care how fast you go or how much you get out and in. You can be moving here, 
or marching. We got about five seconds. Whatever is comfortable for you and where you are, especially if you're in that third trimester and relax, tap it out. In that third trimester doing this, you might wanna take it even lighter, really slow and controlled, because we got a lot more weight in the front. All right, so similar to our move laterally, we're gonna go front and back. So opposite arm, opposite leg, here to here. What I'm not gonna do is arch my back. I'm just reaching, reaching. <sighs> Little squeeze in the glutes. So again, we're strengthening the glutes. We're not gonna arch because we don't wanna arch for our core, but just up, back. <sighs> Breathe, think of it almost like a little cross-country ski. Opposite arm, opposite leg, if you think about it. If you're going the same, that's okay. Breathe, reach, reach. <sighs> Breathe, up and down. 10 seconds, big reach. Little bit of movement in the glute, but again, not arching. Three, two, one, tap it out. Good, good, two moves to go. So we're gonna do, on this next one, a little bend and a press. So start with that, join me here. We're not going down to the floor at all. We're just taking it to the knees, press it up. So I'm trying to get flat, soft knees, down and up. If you wanna add a little extra, bring the knee up, down, knee up. Just kind of leaning towards the front. So the reason we incorporate this in weight training, it's called a deadlift or hip hinge. We incorporate that a lot in prenatal training because we have all this weight going here. We really want to strengthen through the back here. And when that baby gets here, everything is going to pull you forward, whether you're holding the baby, changing the baby, feeding the baby, all of those things. So again, we want to keep that back strengthened. Three, two, one, tap it out. We are down to our last move. So we're gonna take it up and back. We're gonna do a little diagonal slide. So I'm going here, here, then back. So think if you were making a V. Up, up, and on our second set, we'll reverse it. So you can keep it just a step. Notice I'm doing a little half squat. It's up to you, and again, your own pace. Just wanna get a little rotation, turn, open, turn. So again, we're moving different planes of motion. If you want a little extra, slide, 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 slide. If you feel good, you're used to these more athletic type moves, that's fine. Again, listen to your body, do what's best for you. Notice again, I'm just moving my arms just to stay moving. Think of it as drawing a V. Five seconds, breathe. And breathe. Tap it out. You did it. That was our eight moves. So we are going to get a full minute's rest. So that is up to you. You can keep tapping. Definitely grab water. If you haven't already, we want to really make sure that we're staying hydrated. Tap it out. Just move, relax your body, and we will go through all of that again. Roll those shoulders. You can just march. If you want, step it side to side. You can even sit down and take a break. It's totally up to you. We're gonna go through those eight moves one more time. This time you know them, so really good form. Push through, same format. 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Certainly rest more if you need it. At about 20 seconds, and then we're gonna start with that squat and rotation. If you need another sip of water, grab it. My goal with all these prenatal workouts is just to get you moving, feeling it enough that it's somewhat challenging, but you're not overstressing your body that is already working so hard, growing and carrying a baby, right? Okay, so squat it down, rotate it up. Remember, knees and hips turning. Squat, reach. Squat and reach. Here we go. Down and up. Breathe. Breathe. Excellent. We're about halfway there. Remember, drive those hips to the back. Strive to get low. Really good for strengthening quads, inner outer thighs, knees and hips, everything that we need. 
as well as core when we are delivering a baby, right? Five seconds and reach. Tap it out, 15 seconds. Catch your breath. There we go. Now we're gonna go with that forward and back. So remember this, forward and back. If you've got more space and you wanna make it more of a hop step, that's okay too. If you're in a smaller space, you can keep it pretty narrow. Just up, up, back, back. Moving in that plane of motion. And again, you can take it quicker, a little more of that agility. Up, up, back, back, one, two, one, two. Or, totally fine, just walk it up, walk it back. Breathe. Sometimes just thinking about having to go, my feet are going up and they're going back, getting my brain working a little more, takes my mind off of the work, right? Up, up. I always say, I don't want you to have to think, but sometimes it's a little distracting, right? In a good way. Tap it out. That was your 45 seconds. All right. So now we're gonna do that one arm, one leg out laterally. Big reach, flex the foot, get the hip, get the arm and shoulder. Same thing, other side. Take your time, whatever speed you want. Reach. So think of it as a half jumping jack, but we do those star jacks sometimes where we go all the way up. Think of it as that. If you wanna keep it grounded, you can tap that foot down. If you can, get it off the ground, and that's gonna get a little more hip action. Moving to the side. Breathe. I'm always surprised how these little movements get my heart pumping, especially in that first trimester. Definitely, I don't remember this much about my first pregnancy a little bit, but man, I get winded so much faster. So when I have to really put myself in check, listen to my body, take my time, tap it out, and breathe. So now we're gonna do that double step with the plie. So remember, toes are out, stepping to the side for two, getting low in between, and then bringing it back when you're ready. Join me here. Down. Squeeze up, and breathe, squeeze. If you can get low into that, again, you're pulling up through the inner thighs, glutes in the back, pelvic floor muscles, and that deep core. All really important things to be working during pregnancy. Breathe. And all of these moving mus mu motions that we're doing are working our muscles. So our core is working just by having to stabilize as we move side to side, front to back, or at the diagonal. Five seconds, breathe, and relax, tap it out, 15. Halfway through those eight, we only have four more, and then we are done. So we're gonna go out and in. So remember, out wide, in narrow. You can step it, you can jog it, it's up to you. Whatever speed you want, out, out, in, in. And don't get caught up too much in. If you feel like your footwork is off, oh, I'm not coordinated, I hear that all the time in classes. It doesn't matter. It matters that you're doing something safe, that you don't feel too off balance, or that you're gonna roll an ankle. And it matters that you're moving, that you're getting your heart pumping that you're getting your muscles working. So don't worry too much about it. I think all of us feel uncoordinated a lot of the time. Breathe. Five seconds, slow or fast. And relax, tap it out. One arm, one leg again, but we're going to the front, going to the back. So you can think of this in two ways. You can think of it as a little bit of a lean but again, not arching the back or just straight up and down. It's up to you. Here we go. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Breathe and breathe. And again, we're not arching the back because we don't want to hyper extend. We're just getting a little lift and lift and adding arm reach, arm reach. Moving through those shoulder joints and through the hips, front and back, up and down over halfway there. Breathe, and we only have two more moves. We're so close. Breathe, 
You can take it a little quicker if you want, or even a little slower. It's fine. Four, three, two, one. Tap it out side to side. Second to last move is that little bend and press. So remember on our bend, shoulder blades back. We're gonna reach towards those knees, press it up. Join me here. So just start here, through and up. Again, our goal is to strengthen the back, strengthen the arms, get the heart pumping. If you wanna add the knee, you'll get a little extra cardio. If your heart is pumping and you don't need that extra cardio, totally fine just to keep the knee out of it. And the knee is not going super high. I don't want you to feel like you need to pull it all the way in because we don't want to put that pressure on our midsection. That's growing. We are so close to being done. Breathe. No matter how you're feeling, no matter if you feel coordinated or uncoordinated, last one, tap it out. You have been successful today just because you got moving. You did something healthy for you, something healthy for your baby. Last move, we're gonna do that slide up. We're gonna do a different way if you can think of it, just different angle than we did before. Doesn't matter as long as you're getting tap up, turn, tap back, turn. You can do it just like this, low impact. If you want a little extra, slide, slide, slide. Breathe. This is our very last move. Do this, we are cooling it down. Breathe. 10 seconds to go. Stepping it or sliding it. Four, three, two, and one. And relax, tap it out side to side. Roll those shoulders. I hope you felt it. I know I did. And shoulders to the front. So we do little heel taps. Bring that heart rate down. Nice work. Whether you're in your first, second, or third trimesters, just tap it out. Swing those arms. Breathe. You did great today just by being here, just by showing up. Whew. Let's take a big stretch up, reach those arms up. Gentle bend to the side, not very much, just a little stretch. You can kind of pull on that arm a little bit. It's got a lot of arm movements and leg movements. Other side, again, my goal in these cardio workouts is not just to get your heart pumping, but to get your muscles working gently, but effectively. Let's reach to the back. Breathe. Safe ways for pregnancy but you still will get strong, you still will be active. Let's take one foot forward, hinge at the hips, and just bend as much as is comfortable for you. If you've got a lot more in the middle, you can keep it here. If you wanna reach, just not too much contraction. Pull that toe towards you, breathe into that, stretching through the hamstring. Breathe, you can always hold on to a chair or the wall if you need a little extra balance. So same thing, other side. Leg out, and reach. Breathe into it. And then let's take it here, round it up through your back. Big rolls through the shoulders. Make sure that you get lots of water after this workout. Big deep breath in. And probably even a snack or a meal. You deserve it, you worked hard. Great job, mamas. That was your second trimester cardio workout.